Hello artists! Today we're doing something super fun. You are going to be making a spooky crawling spider with a beautiful multicolored web behind him. So get ready to follow along with me with all the steps to make your spooky creepy crawly spider. So the first thing we're going to grab is our black marker. And you're going to take your marker and draw a line right down the middle of your paper from the top to the bottom. Then you're going to draw a line right through the middle from side to side. Now here's where it's going to get tricky. We're going to draw a line from this corner to this corner and we want to make sure we go right through the middle. So here's my corner of my paper up here, and I'm going to touch my marker there, straight to the middle, and then all the way to the corner. And then I'm gonna do it again on this side, starting at that very corner, up through the middle, and up to the corner. All right, now we have the base for our spider web. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to be making little U shapes going all the way around in a circle. So the first one I'm gonna do pretty small. It's like a little U shape. And I'm gonna go all the way around a little U shape in this one. This one needs one, a little U shape. A little U shape. A little U shape. A little U shape. And then one more. And we're going to repeat this going around in a circle. So I'm going to give about a finger space and then I'm going to do another U shape all the way around, around, around. So I want to make sure I connect that U shape to each line. All right. Let's do that again with a finger space. So about a finger space over. And now these U shapes are getting a lot bigger. U shape. And we're going to put that curve line inside every section. Whoops, make sure it touches. Now I'm going to measure another finger space. And then draw my U shape. And we're repeating this and it's really starting to have that wonderful spider web shape. All right, just going around and around and around. And right here. And we're just gonna continue doing this till we get all the way to the edge. So I'm gonna make another little, about a finger space. Maybe I'll make this one a little bigger. That U shape. Around and around and around and around. And this one goes all the way off the page. And this one kind of goes off the page. And then we're just going to go to each section and fill in till we have U shapes all the way down. So this one will have another one. And this one, it goes right off the page. Right off the page, right off the page. Here I'm gonna add another little U shape. And this one goes right off my page and right off my page. And now I just have some spaces down here, so I'm going to put that U shape, that U shape, adding it again. And we just wanna make sure we get all the way down to the edge. All right, the next thing we're going to do is add some color. Before we add color, we'd better add our spider. You can put your spider right in the middle, really anywhere you want. I think I'm gonna put my spider maybe kind of down here. The first thing I do is I draw an oval shape for his face with my black marker. And then I'm going to give him two circles for the two eyes. And then I color in a littler black circle 
to show his um, where he's looking. The next thing I do is draw a much bigger black circle and that's going to be his body. And then I'm going to color that circle in with the black because our spider is going to be a really dark spider. So I'm just going to kind of go around. And just color it in all the way with your black marker for your spider's body. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more circle around his eyes so I can see them and then I'm going to color his whole face in black. All right, there's my little Spidey with his eyes peeking out. Now I know a spider has eight legs, so I need to put four legs on each side. So I'm going to put one leg on this side. I'm just making a thick line and another thick line. Two legs, three legs, and four legs. And now that I have four legs on this side, I'm going to put four legs on this side. And now if I count them, I see my spider has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And you can put your spider anywhere on the web that you would like. Once you've got your spider on there, then is the fun part. We are going to use our crayons and we're going to color his web in with bright, amazing colors. You can use any colors you want. You could do a pattern. You could maybe do warm colors and cool colors. It is up to you. And so we're going to just go in and we are going to color every section a different color. And so I'm using my best coloring and making sure I stay in the lines. And I'm going to color in this spider web with these bright, beautiful colors. Any colors you want, just smoothing them in and coloring in with your best coloring job. So put this color here. I love how bright the colors look. I'm just going to fill each one in differently. And I'm going to continue doing this all across my spider web. So I'm just going to, the sections get bigger, so then you've got a little bit more to color. So I'm coloring right here with my green. Maybe I'll do this one with cool colors. My blue green. My blue violet. And you just want to make sure that you fill in all of the space with these bright, beautiful colors. I kind of use that color already. I'll try this color. Oh, that color is really pretty. So you're just going to make sure you keep going. Every single section a different color until you get all the way to the end. Now that I've gone around and just added different colors in every section, I just have a few more pieces to fill in and then I will be done with this amazing picture. So you just want to make sure that as you're coloring along, you don't color them the same colors next door to each other. So if I have blue here next door, I'm going to pick a different color. I think I will do yellow 
and that way they don't all look the same. They all look very, very different. And that's what makes these spider webs look so amazing. So I'm looking, I've got some red, orange, some yellow, green, blue, light blue, purple, just all my colors. And so now I'm just filling in the last little sections. And when I'm coloring, I'm making sure I'm doing my best not to scribble or leave white space. So if I scribble like that, I want to go back on top and fill it in so there's no white space left. And now I have a beautiful spider web with a cute spider looking out at me. I can't wait to see what you create.